Hello boys and girls, welcome to another part of Kerbal Career Mode Hard. I will pick new contracts. This one, test the Poodle liquid engine at an altitude of above 74.6 kilometers. And on the way I will do my Separatron test. But um, last time when I played career mode hard, I had the problem that my reputation was raising very quickly so that I got contracts like Explore Duna, Explore Ike, Minmus and, and stuff uh, for a lot of money. But my funds were so low that I could not upgrade the control center or the launch pad or nothing. I could only do it with the basic stuff. That wouldn't be the problem, but the problem was that for exploring Duna and Ike, I need uh, the maneuver nodes, the Konix, and I don't get them without upgrading this uh, tracking station. And the upgrade cost 300,000, and my funds were about as low as this. And I only get contracts to explore Duna. Pfft. So what do you do? You can't, I can't fly there blindly. Uh, what I can do is fly blindly to the moon and back without without Konix nodes. I hope you will see it in one of our next parts, but not like this. So I need uh, to find something which will keep my reputation low so that I keep getting contracts simple enough for me to to earn money uh, and uh, with missions I can do. That's why I would like to start this fundraising campaign. Uh, yeah. And something which will limit the amount of reputation points I get. For example, I could re limit the reputation points to 50% and get a little bit of extra uh, extra funds not too much because how much do i get if i if i get if i save 200 reputation points if i earn 200 reputation points i will only i will transfer 100 of it for 800 more funds it's not about the funds uh, this campaign is not here to to make me funds, uh, to generate funds, but it, it is here to keep my reputation low enough so that I keep getting contracts which I can fulfill with the basic equipment. And why can't I start this? Because my reputation is 600 something. Can't start this campaign. Oh, that, that's then I'm. I see a problem coming, a long-term problem, with this career. Oh, you, the administration facility cannot support more than one active strategies at this level. That's the problem. <coughs> well, but I need this outsourced R and D. For the science, right? Because the next mission, after I do this, I would do the the moon thing, and I would get just enough science to unlock everything, which would be fine. I want to unlock everything, but then my contracts will be. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep this campaign uh, the way I have it. Uh, now for the for the missions I have. Contracts. Yes, I have decided to have taken 
unmanned craft for which I will have to research research the parts here research this part the unmanned pod I will need to test the poodle engine I will need to lift it and test separate drones on the way. I will lift it with the LVT-30. We'll decouple and have uh, two more tanks. This is what I tested in the sandbox. I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, um, invite uh, um, what is it? inventing this craft beforehand this is what I have played in the sandbox and tested that it really that I really can do it so these two tanks LV, LVT 30 one tank LVT 30 two separate ones so we will start with this one engine then we will have a stage where we will test the separate rounds. Then we will decouple and start the second engine, which will, and then we will reach high enough altitude to test the poodle engine. And all this will fly down and crash and will not be salvageable in any way unless I will manage to land it, which is what I can try. But it's not supposed to survive. This is just 6,600 spent just to earn about, I don't know how much money these contracts will bring in, something over 20,000, so effectively 14,000 something. And a lot of science points. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I don't have SAS. Well, in the sandbox mode I had SAS and I was wondering why do I have SAS because I have no SAS module here. Now this will be fun to fly. Obviously, I can't recover. I would lose a lot of money, a lot of credits. I should have researched one SAS module and sacrificed that as well. I haven't done that, so this is what I have to live with. I hope it will be okay, though. So my contract is to test separate run when these conditions are met. Flying, our altitude is not right for the test yet. Soon the altitude will be okay, but the speed is not enough. Speed is not enough yet. I need to be over 210. Hopefully, I can make it before we reach 10,000. speed come on test separate drones successful one contract is fulfilled now for the other one lift this brick of an engine up to over seven seventy four thousand
and test it there. Time warp. We are in the space, 74,000 altitude, tested, contract fulfilled, and that's basically it. I can try to land this, um, <coughs> but how come the, the Poodle engine is now working? Why does it show it has fuel? The Poodle engine is not supposed to have any fuel. This will be interesting. I can't even, can't even uh, control the craft anymore. This will be a short flight. It, it doesn't rotate. Okay, let's have some fun with full throttle. Nothing did explode. It will explode now when it dips into the sea. It's only 6,000. But all right. I did fulfill the contract. Come on, give me the mission report pop-up. Go to Space Center. No mission report pop up. Contracts are fulfilled. I've got 89,900. Um, yep. So for our next mission, wow! Look, look at the. Look at the um, amount of missions we can do. Just basic jet engine. For half a million. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. for half a million funds, I'm not able to do this. <laughs> no, no, th this part, I know this part, LFBKR, it, it's, a, it's a, such a monster of a part. That alone weighs a lot more tons than I can uh, I can uh, start my rocket with, but it's it's an extraordinary reward. Mainsail, engine orbiting Kerbin. Wow, that's a good contract, but I don't think I can make it into the orbit with the mainsail. It's such a heavy engine. I don't think I can build a lifter, which is lighter than 18 tons lifting this, lifting one mainsail into the orbit. It brings a lot of money and a lot of science points. Oh, I like this contract. But the lifter has to be under 18 tons. I don't know how many, how many tons the mainsail engine weighs. I think I could lift something like three, maybe four tons into the orbit. <coughs> I could do that hopefully I can try it I can try that's something I want to try this is a nice contract 200,000 bucks yes I would very much like that the other contracts are just 7,000 here 1,000 24,000 visual observation visual something no, rescue, rescue mission. Rescue mission is another one. Once I'm in the orbit, I can try rescuing th uh, this one. 
but the main sale brings a lot more a lot more reputation a lot more science points a lot more everything this this is a contract worthy of my genius <laughs> I think it's even harder than exploring the moon I already have a plan how to do this mission this mission to the moon and back uh, thanks to uh, thanks to a streamer or a YouTuber, DF Wandering Kid, who had a mi who had done exactly this mission on his career mode. Um, so he showed me that it's possible without maneuver nodes and everything. But this mainsail thing, mainsail engine, lift it into the orbit. Above 76,000, shouldn't be a problem. And test it there and get 200,000. This is a sweet contract. I want to try it in the sandbox. Um, and uh, get back to you. Hopefully, we will, we will find something how we can do this. This will definitely allow myself, uh, allow, uh, allow us to... Um, upgrade the tracking center to uh, to have maneuver nodes. It, this will save. This will be a career saving contract. I'm excited. So see you in a moment on the stream.